The best of high school sports is right here. Live from Studio A in Yuma, Arizona. Friday Night Lights starts right now. We've reached the halfway mark of the prep football season. Hard to believe, my friend, yep. with area programs ready to make big statements. Thank you for joining us for week number seven of Friday Night Lights. I'm Rob Fran. And I'm Cole Johnson. We begin with a Yuma area crosstown clash that's been one-sided for more than a decade as the Cibola Raiders have beaten the Yuma Criminals the last 15 times these programs have met on the field. But under second-year head coach Bo Seibel, the Criminals have a fortified belief that they can ball with anybody. As the program came close to beating Trevor Brown and Calexco before its recent COVID quarantine. So, in tonight's marquee matchup between these two crosstown foes, this would be the first time this fall that two YUHSD programs would cross paths as the Raiders would have their season home opener at Raider Field. And as you can see, both teams focused on this one. Yuma working with a short field on their first drive. Jesus Villapueta gets the rock and then gets hammered to the ground by a pair of Raider defenders after a five-yard game. Two plays later, Reggie Dantone finds Manuel Garcia on the near side, spins away from Isaac Lopez, and then races the sideline for a 30-yard touchdown. Yuma gets on the scoreboard first, seven to nothing. Crims trying for the upset. On the ensuing kickoff, Joseph Bresnahan's pooch kick dribbles over to Isaac Lopez, who tries to make something happen. But <laughs> oh, yeah. coughs up the football and a dog pile ensues. And then after the fight for the possession, the referee says Yuma football. The Crims would capitalize. Antone fires a pass to Tamarie Patterson on the slant route, snatches it, and takes it in the house for another criminal score. Yuma would shock the favored Ra Raiders running up two touchdowns in the first three minutes of the game. Savola fighting back. Andrew Acosta fires a rope to Adrian Montoya, who fights for 15 yards there. Later in the first, the pocket collapsing around Acosta. He improvises with his legs, eventually getting tripped up as he barely gets enough for the Raider first down. Cibola then knocking on the door. Acosta under pressure. He gets the ball off just in time to Lopez on the flat, breaks the would-be tackle by Andrew Usulo and takes it the rest of the way for the touch. Cibola nice. gets on the board and cuts their early deficit in half. This game would be a wild one as the Raiders would find a way to pull it out, beating Yuma for a 16 straight time, 35 to 28 in a thriller. Yeah, tough one for Yuma for sure. Hopefully they bounce back from that one. Now we go west of the Colorado River as Imperial Valley League play opened up tonight with a pair of intriguing matchups, starting with Central and Calexico. The Spartans may be the three-time defending IVL champ, but their rebuilding campaign is off to a slow start as Central is only a single win in its first five games of the season. Meanwhile, the Calexico Bulldogs are not the pushovers of yesteryear as coach Fernando Solano and the rest of the coaching staff has infused a huge spark in the program with the dogs sitting at 3-2 and two overall and looking to knock off the Spartans for the first time since 2012. We go to Ward Field as the dogs host Coach Rookie Pena and the Central Spartans. A packed crowd on hand, too, with the winner making an early case for the IVL title. On Central's first drive, quarterback Damian Rodriguez drops back, and then he is dropped. That Diego Garola making the play, pushing the Sparts way back for a third and long, but they would gain ground and put it on the ground here with Charlie Sullivan, who barrels his way to pick up the first down on fourth down. That would be the second fourth down conversion on the drive for Central. Next play, Rodriguez, pump fakes, Fakes out the cameraman, but that does not fake out Andrew Rivera. What a play. Gets a hand on it to take away the score. But two plays later, the Sparks will go right back to the air. Rodriguez throws a strike to Gavin Marini for six. Nice. Beautiful grab for the junior and the Spartans. Strike first. After Calexico's offense stalled in the first drive, they set up to punt. But oh no, the ball takes a tough bounce and deflects off of Elijah Perez. That's Andres Ramirez who jumps on top of it and a potential momentum swinger for the dogs. Deep in Spartan territory, here's Ernesto Sanchez. Takes the handoff, jukes and dives on a couple tacklers. Needs a whole pile to take him down. First down. But their drive would stall. And on fourth down, Central makes him pay. Here's Rodriguez. Rolls out to his right. Scanning downfield and launches a deep oh. pass. And say hello to Sergio Garcia. The freshman hauls it in. Takes it the distance. 70 yards for the score to put the Spartans up 14-0 after the extra point. And the Spartans would maintain controlling and winning 42-6 down the road. In tonight's second IVL matchup, the Brawley Wildcats are going for their fifth straight win against the Dark Horse Southwest Eagles. Early in the first quarter, the Wildcats 
Going to hand it off to Gilbert Corrales, who puts a quick move on the defense of go four yards for the first down. Very next play. Wildcats get it to fullback Tanner Carranza. The whole backfield getting involved in this one. That's good oh. for 10 more yards. Nice hit there. Another first down. Brawley on the move. Now in the red zone for the first time in the ball game. And here's Ethan Gutierrez. Fakes the handoff to Carranza. And he's going to keep it himself. Put on some moves. Make his way towards the sideline. Take it all the way. 27 yards for pay dirt. Brawley strikes first. Extra points good. They go up 7-0. The Eagles would throw an interception on the following drive. So Brawley now with a chance to add on to their lead. And Gutierrez to the other sideline now. Another keeper for the junior. Twice as nice. <laughs> Gutierrez goes 30 yards again for a second score of the game as he dives into the end zone. 14-0 Wildcats. Southwest now trying to get back in this game. Eagle running back Esteban McDonough. He's going to make it happen. Five-yard run here. Good for a... Big Eagles first down, trying to gain momentum. The Eagles would end the first quarter in the red zone to the second quarter now. Southwest sophomore quarterback Logan Youngers in the shotgun. He's going to take the snap, tosses this one over the middle. Oh, no, it's picked oh. off. Robert Platt grabs it out of the air. The Eagles are denied, and the Brawley continues their dominance, winning their fifth straight on a 50-6 to win on the road. Quite a statement indeed. After the dust is cleared for the first leg of the IBL round robin tournament, it didn't take long to see who the league front runners are. Both Brawley and Central put on clinics, as you just saw, to take the inside track at a run for the league title while Imperial's IBL season starts next week against Brawley. What a tough way to start yeah, things off. It is. It's wow. Be a big matchup, though, for sure. Indeed. Well, the first midseason batch of highlights are now in the books but we still have a trio contest left to go. Among the rest, we'll bring you our take on the Thursday night showdown between Imperial and Holtville. Keep it right here on FNL. Imperial Valley Auto says sell us your car. With a recent shortage of new and used vehicle inventories due to the worldwide semiconductor chip shortage, your car is worth more money than ever. We can actually pay more than you paid for your car. In many cases, whether you buy from us or not. Visit ibauto.com to schedule your free appraisal and sell your car today. Great prices, great selection, great service, and great people who care about you. Experience the difference at Imperial Valley Auto. When you hear cough, cough, sneeze, sneeze, it's time for plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Alka-Seltzer Plus Cold Relief dissolves quickly, instantly ready to start working. So you can bounce back fast with Alka-Seltzer Plus. Whoa. How do they get these things to smell so good? Must be magic. Hefty Ultra Strong with Fabuloso Scent. It's a fact. We use our internet and TV more than ever, with most of us spending nearly seven hours a day online. So it's no wonder thousands of families are switching to Spectrum. Because most families have up to eight connected devices, which means they need even more speed. Switch to Spectrum Internet and get the fastest starting speeds for the price. 100 megabits for just $44.99 a month. With a free modem and free security suite included. Call 833-621-4499. When it comes to TV, we're watching more than ever. In fact, 80% of us watch TV every day. Spectrum TV lets you catch all your favorite sports, news, and more live. Plus, download the free Spectrum TV app and watch on your devices. Switch to Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-621-4499. The fact is, Spectrum has the best services at the best price. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. We'll even buy out your current contract. Call 833-621-4499. It's time for a talk. If you're 45 or older, you need to get yourself screened for colon cancer. This disease can be very treatable when caught early. So the sooner you know what's up with your health, the better. The good news is, is that there's options for getting screened that are easier than you think. Get informed. If you're a man or a woman, 45 or older, take control. Get screened for colon cancer. Standuptocancer.org slash colon cancer. This portion of News 11 at 10 is sponsored by Papa San Rice Bowl. You're watching Friday Night Lights, home of football from across the desert southwest.
Welcome back, everyone. Both the Imperial Tigers and the Holtville Vikings are each making their own cases for being potential playoff contenders for their respective sections. The Tigers have won two of their last three after a slow season start, thanks in part to their potent offense, led by the quarterback tandem of Christopher Tiernan and Rise Vindiola. Meanwhile, the Vikings are off to an unbeaten 5 0 start with a dangerous offense of their own, featuring Spencer Hilfiker and the Eiton brothers. So, Thursday night's clash at Burger Field featuring a lively student section will be dictated for the most part by each of the team's unexpected stout defensive play. Now, take a look at this opening kickoff. It's fielded by Holtville's Dorian Mays. You see, he Grabs it off the ground there, 20 yard line. He's going to run to the other sideline of the field, turns it up, makes a few moves, gets a couple of big blocks down the sideline, and he is gone. Mays is loose, and it's an 80 yard touchdown to start the game. Holtville will get the two point conversion to make it 8 0. On Imperial's second drive of the game, CJ Tiernan takes the handoff on the right side and scampers for 20 yards and a first down before he's ushered out of bounds. Later on the drive, Seth Shaw burrows his way down to the one-yard line. Here we go on fourth and goal. Rice Vindiola passes to Zach Ray, who can't hang on oh, to it with the ball. Eight and Eighton and the Vikings with a defensive stand. Holtville with the ball, early second quarter. Phil Fleischer with the keeper, and he's going to plow ahead for a chunk of yards. Vikings eventually would go have to punt. Late second quarter, Imperial on the move. Inside the 10, fourth and goal, and this is Tiernan with a fake and fools our own camera guy. Tiernan with the score, extra point is good. Tigers down 8-7 at the half to the fourth quarter. Imperial and Tiernan add another score to go up 14-8, and that is your final score in a hard-fought defensive battle in Holtville. Imperial hands Holtville their first loss in the year, 14-8. And thank you to the Valley Sports Network as well for the additional coverage. All right, moving over to Imperial Valley's north side, even though the Cal Patriot Hornets have taken their lumps from the likes of Calexico and Army Navy, they still managed to pull together a 2-2 two two overall record so far. Yeah, this is pretty impressive for a program that didn't have a season all of last school year thanks to the recent heavy restrictions due to the COVID-19 pandemic. First-year head coach Matt Self is already instilling his own brand of toughness and perseverance that could make matters interesting for any opponent the Hornets face. Tonight, Self and company would get a tough test from Palo Verde before the start of their Desert League season next week. And the Yellow Jackets putting the pressure on early. Kalen Sotelo, you know, able to bring down the back with the Jackets blasting through that front line. As you can see, they are blasting all the way into the end zone. Palo Verde in command early. The Hornets back to receive the kickoff here in just a few minutes after the extra point. Look at Rafa Velasco. He's going to get a hold of the ball, but only for a short return. He's forced out of bounds eventually, so he got a little bit of something, but not a whole lot there. Jacobs and Dejas and the Hornets offense come out, and Zdejas takes it himself, moving the chains to the 48-yard line. They would eventually turn over the ball. So the Yellow Jackets take over and looking to air this one out, but a great defensive play by the Hornets right there. Rafa Velasco breaking up that pass. But the run game, that was the key, and it's always key in high school football. It would be too much to handle for the Hornets. As you can see, the Yellow Jackets just having their way. Anthony Richards finds room all the way down the sideline for a 50-yard touchdown score. And the Yellow Jackets have their way tonight, winning 42-6. to six. Now we go back to Yuma County as the Antelope Rams looking to hit the reset button. They welcome Tonopah Valley to Buckeye Field. Opening drive, we're going to see Tonopah inside the Ram 20. You see the first responders ready and waiting and watching the game as well. Giving it to the right side, and Emo Cox is there for the Ram. Jarring the ball loose. Whitley there to recover Rams football. Rams ball inside their own 24th and one. They go for it. That's risky business, but they get it. Later in the drive, the give to Ivan Lopez, and he takes a shot. Rams with later punt. Second quarter, Tonopah tries to run, but Javier Solis is there to disrupt the play. Moments later, Tonopah back to pass. It's bad in the air by Jose Sotelo. Or Soto, he gets the catch on his own reflection and then drags the defender with his ankles. But the Rams will take advantage. John Whitley finds Keenan Raggles for a short gain and then finds Miguel Carrillo inside the 15-yard line. Later inside the five, the give to the fullback, Jose 
Butter Soto butters his way into the end zone. Antelope on the board first, and they would take the win. A nice bounce back win from last week's tough loss. They were the butter there. The highlights are now done, but we still have a lot more to come now. We got your FNL scoreboard, your helmet props, and of course, the Jack in the Box play of the week right after. You're watching Friday Night Lights on KYMA. For me this month is about celebrating all of the hard work that all of our people in the past and now keep on doing for us to have these opportunities today. We have seen that people are breaking the stigma. I think as Hispanics, we contribute more than we take. And I'm like, yes, I'm Hispanic, I'm Latina, like that makes me who I am, that's my identity. They need, and we do, we try, to be the best examples that we can. Hispanic Heritage Month, sponsored by Toyota. Everybody has a flashlight, but can your flashlight do this? The Bell & Howell Tactical Flashlight can. The Bell & Howell Tac Light can do things no ordinary flashlight can do. Look, this civilian flashlight puts out pathetic light. But our military-grade Tac Light, that's 22 times as bright. It's so bright, it can be seen up to two nautical miles away. Only a Tac Light has a super bright strobe that can stun and disorient would-be attackers. A car battery will stop working in sub-zero temperatures, but even getting frozen in a block of ice couldn't make our tack light stop working. It's tough enough to survive getting run over by a Humvee. Try that with a regular flashlight. You can get a Bell & Howell tack light complete with a lifetime guarantee for just $19.99 plus free shipping. And while supplies last, you can even get a second one. Just pay a separate fee. To order, call 1-800-369-0338. That's 1-800-369-0338 or go to trytacklight.com. Nick Bolton here with the latest from Bell & Howell. We call them tack glasses. Inspired by the sunglasses worn by our heroes in uniform, tack glasses block blinding glare so well, invisible objects suddenly become visible. Enhance colors to give you vision as sharp as an eagle's and survive even the harshest conditions. Look, ordinary sunglasses just make things darker, which could be deadly in a tactical situation. Tack glasses improve optical clarity so you can see clearly even in low light. If you've never seen how this light filtering technology works, check this out. Nothing to see, right? But look again as we hold up our tack glasses. A colorful American Eagle is revealed. Amazing. Act now to get your tack glasses for just $19.99 and we'll even ship it to you free. So don't delay. Order yours today. To order, call 1-800-287-1705. Again, that's 1-800-287-1705 or order online at TriTacGlasses.com. You're watching Friday Night Lights, home of football from across the desert southwest. In case you've missed any of tonight's highlights, allow us to get you all caught up. Yep, we're going to begin with our FNL scoreboard here. As you can see, we already went through it. That Thursday final, Imperial taking down Holtfield, their first loss of the season, 14-8. Yuma taking the tough 35-28 loss to Cibolo in our marquee matchup. Brawley, the big win on the road there, 50-6, making a statement, as you said earlier, mm -hmm. Rob. Big one for them. And then Central and Calexico. Central picking things back up after a rough start and winning 42-6. All right, our next batch of results. We start with Palo Verde dominating Calipatria. The Hornets, you know, keep in mind, no varsity experience with any of the guys on their roster prior this season. So just trying to hold their own. Antelope takes care of Tonopah Valley. And Yuma Catholic gets a huge win after... Losing a couple weeks back to AIA Gilbert, which is one of the top teams in the state. They take down another top team on the road. This is something that they knew they needed to do to try to get a good seating in the state tournament. And I think they succeeded with flying colors. All right, rounding out the rest. San Pasquale loses a heartbreaker to North Point Prep. Gila Ridge goes down to Tank Verde. Still trying to get their first win for Coach Slaughter. And Kofa still looking for answers falling to Raymond Kellis. Well, now's the time Cole and myself are handing out some special recognition to the player, players, position groups, or even teams that stood out from the rest tonight. So, Cole, let's start with you. Who's getting your helmet prop? All right, so I am going to go with junior quarterback Damian Rodriguez from the Central Spartans. An offensive explosion from the young man. Totaling six touchdowns on the night in their 42-6 win at Calexico. And even more impressive is how he's taking control of this offense 
and having to fill the shoes of Central's previous quarterback, Jordan Reed. Indeed. As far as I'm concerned, when we see an outstanding defensive performance, I'm going to call it out. On Thursday night, the Tigers shut down an explosive Vikings offense, not allowing Spencer Hilfiker to throw a TD pass or the Eiton brothers to get into the end zone. So Imperial's defense not only kept them in the game, but ultimately was a huge reason why they won it. Huge one there. And now here's your first look at our number week, eight week lineup for FNL. All six of these contests are headlined by our marquee matchup between the Imperial Tigers and the Brawley Wildcats. <laughs> what a game that's going to be. This could end up being a de facto Imperial Valley League title game. We invite you to join us next week for that one. All right. We go now to our Jack in the Box play of the week. This one comes from Thursday night's thriller in Holtville's opening kickoff. It's fielded by Dorian Mays, who runs to the other side of the field. Turns it up, makes a few moves, and the rest is history. The convoy of blockers is helping him out a lot, and he gets it in. Nice. See ya. He's off. All right. And we're <laughs> going to see you, too. Bye.